your heart makes it happen. Pick up your Variety 2000 Gold Heart today. Available at these fine stores. The fields are snow covered in Manitoba and it's time to curl. Well known in the Westman area, 44 year old Murray Warren was a virtual unknown around the rest of the province. But in this Safeway Select, the farmer from Medora has beaten the legends of Manitoba curling. Three time champion and world champ Kerry Burtnick was the first of the big three to fall to Warren. They met in the first game of the championship round, and Warren would rally from 3 0 down to win 7 6 in an extra end. Last night, Warren stared down another three-time Manitoba champion, Vic Peters. Warren pounced on Peters early and sent the former Briar winner home early. This morning, he'll face his biggest challenge yet, the defending champ, Jeff Stoughton, who's intent on joining some select company as a four-time Manitoba champion. And waiting in the wings is Don Spriggs, the restaurant owner from Portage, who has something cooking for this morning's winner. As we serve up breakfast at the Safeway Select Provincial Men's Curling Championship, live on Global. is the 2000 Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship live on Global. Brought to you by Canada Safeway. Select premium quality. Last night in the B-side semifinals, Jeff Stoughton found himself down 4-0 to Don Spriggs after two ends. But here in the seventh, with his first rock of that end, Stoughton makes a shot that Don Spriggs would have no answer for. And Stoughton would go on to steal two in that end as he completed the comeback with an 11-6 victory to get to the beef side final this morning. And as we showed you, Murray Warren defeating Vic Peters last night by a score of 8-6. Good morning, Manitoba, and welcome back to Brandon's Keystone Center and Global's continuing coverage of this 2000 Safeway Select Provincial Men's Curling Championship. I'm Joe Pascucci. This morning, the B-side final, Jeff Stoughton, Murray Warren, the winner to play Don Spriggs this afternoon at 2 o'clock for the championship of men's curling in Manitoba, the first men's champion of the 21st century. Joining us once again, two-time Canadian champion, Kathy Goche. And Kathy, Murray Warren's been the story of this select, who is he? Well, it's really interesting. You know, a lot of people in this local area certainly know who Murray Warren is, and he's often entered events and not taken a, a team with cards because it just hasn't been that important to him. Uh, it is really interesting to see what's happening. He's playing out of his mind, as is his team. Lots of potential. Jeff's got his work cut out because the crowd really likes Jeff, but they love Murray Warren. And Don Finkbeiner, man, a former Manitoba champion, Jeff Stoughton, you know, he can't let this guy sneak up on him because Murray Warren has beaten not only Kerry Burtnick and uh, Vic Peters, but he's also beaten Barry Fry, three Manitoba champions in one select. Well, that's right. But uh, watching Stoughton yesterday, when he uh, when he was playing in his game against Spriggs last night, he got off to a bit of a shaky start. But then we saw the Stoughton machine start to take off. And I think they're kicking on all eight cylinders now. And, you know, the closer they get, the better they get. And, and really, Jeff Stoughton is so good. And he's in a groove. And he's so comfortable in this kind of a position. You know, it's going to take one heck of a game to beat him, and I really think uh, Jeff's ready for this one. So it is Jeff Stoughton against Murray Warren, the B-side final, and we'll be back with the opening rock of this game on Global after this. Granny's Manitoba poultry hits the spot with every mouthful. Imagine the warm aroma of a Granny's turkey fresh out of the oven. As its sweet smell wafts through the house, it takes you back to family celebrations of days gone by. At Granny's, we're dedicated to making your family gatherings memorable year after year. Granny's Poultry, proudly Manitoba's only turkey processor. Farm fresh taste and country goodness, Granny's. 
It's a million dollars twice a week. It's a game we call our own. Western 649. We're here at home. Play Western 649 at any Manitoba Lottery Ticket Center. Western 649. Get a grin from me. What'll it be, sweetheart? Let me guess. A nice, cold Pepsi. I wouldn't want to hear one of those crazy voices of yours, huh? Honey, you ain't heard nothing yet. Hit it, fellas. Some sleep. I can't. Don't do this to yourself. It's all my fault. I was going too fast. I destroyed a family. I know. My dad says he's the best to do crocus for my future. I think my dad's pretty smart. Very smart, because when you look at the tax savings, the returns, and the long-term jobs, they all add up to Crocus. I don't want to see our kids forced to leave this province, so I'm investing in Crocus again. Want to know more? Call Crocus, or see your financial advisor or credit union. It worked for me, so I'm sure it can work for you. As morning breaks in communities all across Canada, Robbins helps you start your day with our special blend coffee. A full body brew, guaranteed fresh on the first taste, or we'll replace it. And Robbins mealtime combos and freshly prepared subs are welcome anytime. At work or at play. Part of your community. You always get a break at Robbins. Kathy Gilt, Jay, if they don't know the ice by now, they haven't been listening to you. Well, that's a, that's a truism, and they played on it all week. Inside out, you're going to see a lot of movement, three to four feet. What is more tricky, though, is coming outside in around a center guard. Runs a little bit, but at the end, it breaks almost sideways, up to three, three and a half feet. Ice conditions, as they have been since Wednesday, 24 seconds from start to finish. Reading the Ice is brought to you by Granny's Poultry. Always quality and freshness. And by Manitoba Blue Cross, committed to caring. And for one of the very few times this week, in fact, I think for only the second time this week, the Murray Warren team has lost the toss, so they will not have the hammer in the first end. That belongs to Jeff Stoughton. And Reg Warren has started us off in this game. Well, it's true, and those things, you know, technically, you may think that they, they don't oh, make a is. difference, but the Stoughton team, uh, whatever Jonathan Mead's theory is, Jan Sanders, and I want you to figure that out, uh, it is uh, pretty significant. They have won virtually every toss, and there's just something about having last rock that just, you know, in case you're kind of shaky, you just like to think that you can always bail your team out in the first hand. And there you see the lineup of the two teams for this game of course uh, the Warren team not as familiar as the Stoughton team and their third Lorne Sambrook and Don you have an interesting story there. Well actually Sambrook goes back into my era when uh, when you go back into the 70s and that and I remember in 1972 Barry and Murray and I think uh, another brother Keith uh, in 72 in the first game had Oris Malischuk on the ropes uh, four up uh, with two ends to go in in, uh, in the provincial playdowns in Verdon and let the game slip away and and uh, the legend went on that that's when Oris went on to win the world and, and quite often if you are the you lose that first game the chances of, of going on to win from there on in are very very slim so I vividly remember that game and I was talking to to Lauren and actually the boys I think are, the other the, the Warrens are related and they were at that game too and they remembered it too so it, it was uh, the, the Sandbrooks are a very well known uh, name out of that uh, Medora area. The only uh, bump in the road for uh, Jeff Stoughton was that loss yesterday morning to Vic Peters. 
And it was a bit of a bizarre game. Uh, Jeff gave up only in two ends, but in those two ends, it was a total of seven points, and that was pretty much the game. Looking at Terry Warren. I was walking in with them um, with him this morning into the arena and asked how they were feeling and they're feeling great but their bones are uh, certainly letting them know it's uh, the final day of a competition but I think that the same would be said for any of the teams that are still left. Uh, it is a, a long haul you're playing three games a day for four or five days and uh, you know you sweep a little harder you, you work just a little harder and the adrenaline's flowing and it's it's a tough go. For Murray Warren, a couple of bumps in the road for him to get to this A-side final. In the uh, round robin portion, there was that loss to Clayton Paul of Thompson, 8-4 to four in his second game. But as you can see, he bounced back after that. Won a key game over Gord Hardy in an extra end. And then in the championship round, his only loss so far to Don Spriggs. But look who he's beaten, three former Manitoba champions. And seeds 2, 3, and 5, which really says seeding is truly a guide. And that's all it is. Been a pretty wide open first end so yep. far. And that's, you know, often what you expect to see when you get down to this yep. level. I think both teams kind of want to get their legs right stretched and, and not have to force Stop. themselves into too much of a difficult yep. shot within the first end. This is a good situation, actually, for for the Warren rink because they're not uh, basically familiar with a line like, like this. This is their first time this far in the provincials, obviously. Uh, the Stout and Force, I'm obviously used to the cameras, used to uh, international play. They, they've been on television so often. They're very comfortable with this. So for uh, the Warren team to get through the first couple of ends and sort of relax and get into the into their game is, is, is rather crucial. And I think it makes a big difference if you keep the first end wide open to allow them to get, get rid of the butterflies. Am I going short? I don't think. Not very much anyways. And again, a bit of a discussion, which just really uh, reinforces what Don has just said. Uh, if if they really wanted to go uh, right now, certainly they could be throwing a guard. But the decision is to throw it in and just sort of run them up and down for an end. Take a look, guys. First rock of this first end for Warren Third, Lauren Sambrook. It's all right there. Don, oh, right. I saw you uh, down at ice level before the game for sometime lobbying very hard that you are of the same age frame therefore you should play fifth should they be successful and win actually they told me i'm too old for them so <laughs> I didn't go over so i i sort of sort of Normal. slunk away and and started to talking to somebody else so. clear, clear. Yep, yep. Yep. hard Oh, this really one's hard. taken off on him. He's going to be lucky to get this. Quiet. Just. Just quiet, but yeah, it looked like it caught something. It took off pretty good. Just a little bit of a discussion. Um, John wanting to make sure that he threw it well enough. They're saying just, just down a bit, but Jeff also believes that it may have picked up a little bit of something. Oh, I think it's got lots. Oh, it's got lots. Yeah, oh. a miss there by Meade would have been really a rough oh, one because oh. what happens then uh, chances yeah, are no, Jeff would have had to take one in the first end right here mm. the way he looks uh, he's in a good situation to play. Stop. Jonathan Mead. 1986 Canadian Junior Champion at third with uh, Hugh McFadden as the skip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. And probably one of Manitoba's finer tuckers were of course known for producing great curlers as well as those that consistently throw the tuck delivery. I think the first one was just a little down. I think a pretty good move there. Yeah, well maybe it came out soft on my hand. Like I don't, I don't think it grabbed. It is a really important conversation to have because if they wind up in the same situation later on, I think that it's important that they understand whether the ice was right and whether he threw it well. So for John to say, no, I just don't think I threw it that great, suggests to Jeff that maybe he doesn't need any more ice. No. No. It's all right. No. Oh, oh. No. No. Jack. 
Well, statistically, I'm sure uh, a very, very high scoring end, which suggests that the teams are both ready to play. I think not like too cl fairly close. Yeah. It was interesting last night uh, the ovation they received when they mentioned the All Star team and and uh, Murray Warren was the All Star skip. It was one of the few. I think he was probably the closest being the unanimous choice at a oh, I'm position. Sure he was. I know there was great discussions on the other positions because there are a lot of good players out there. But uh, boy, he's had a remarkable uh, select and uh, very very popular, terrific ovation when he was announced as that All Star skip. So for Jeff looking to hit and stick. Hi. Hi. So Jeff. And he will roll out giving uh, Murray Warren a chance to uh, check out draw weight. Well and this is uh, a really good opportunity uh, for Murray to get draw weight before he's actually he actually needs it and finds himself in a difficult situation. So you'll probably see the sweepers not just letting this land anywhere in the house, but wanting to take it to the forefoot so that they have a chance to see what that looks like. And also for Murray Warren to feel like he can throw it there if he needs it to. Watch where this ends up in case we got to use this again. Exactly. There I have you, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it is true that any time the skip can throw a draw in the first couple of ends, that's a, a real advantage, and that's why Jeff didn't want to roll out in that situation. Easy and we'll see if it is, in fact, 24, which is, whoa, as we whoa. talked about, it has been since Wednesday. Stay with it. It's all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Higher the better. Whoa. You know, early in the game Very yesterday fine. in the uh, Vic Peters Don Spriggs game, it caught them a little bit. It was a little bit quicker. So 23.7 with any sweeping whatsoever, it pretty much is exactly the same as it has been, which is a testament to Hans Withrich and his ice crew for keeping consistent ice conditions where the curlers can't throw with confidence. mentioned about being quite a select for Murray Warren. It's been quite a last 10 years for Jeff Stoughton, Manitoba champion in 91, 96, 99, and maybe in 2000. And he obviously loves Brandon too because uh, it's been very good to him. Yes, it's been very good to him. As well. And of course, wherever the Olympic trials are, we know that Jeff is the first team that's been declared uh, for the Olympic trials by winning the Briar last year. Yep. So Manitobans will certainly have at least one team to cheer for during the Olympic trials process. So Jeff Stoughton blanks the first end of this B-side final. And we'll be back to Brandon's Keystone Center for the second end after this. Come for the flavor, come for the taste, stay for the good times, you know the place. We'll treat you special, we'll treat you right. You're the reason Chicken Chef is cooking something good tonight. Come on out, come on in to Chicken Chef, we're cooking something good for you. Come on in to Chicken Chef, we're cooking up something Curling brooms were once like this, but times change, things get better. Now a broom is like this. The same is true with cell phones. They used to be like this. Now it's the Motorola V-Phone. No one knows more about cell phones than Elite Communications, your MTS Mobility Center. Our friendly experts can tell you all about the V-Phone. And MTS Mobility's lowest rates ever. Elite Communications, your MTS Mobility Center. You really sweep well done. Above and beyond the call. The Safeway Select is brought to you in part by Elite Communications, above and beyond the call for your cellular, paging, and two-way radio needs. And by the Prairie Ford Dealers, it's always been Ford. Whoa! This is great! What? This! Have you ever seen so many beautiful vehicles? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that one! Oh, they're very nice. Now, have you thought about how we're gonna get across? We could run! Need I remind you of what happened to Uncle Ernie? Okay, really bad idea. We could tunnel. Well, you really are more than just a furry face. Ah, 
after you, monsieur. Hey, there's no need to swear. Who's swearing? Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries presents one sweetheart of a sale just in time for Valentine's Day. Over 150 gorgeous Lazy Boy chairs on display and priced as low as $379. Come in today and find your true love. Now at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, you can save on more than a thousand custom order fabrics, which means our furniture can adapt to any surrounding, not to mention any budget. When it comes to Manitoba Men's Curling Championships, no one has won more of them than Brandon Brian Wood. The 70s were his decade of excellence. Wood would win two Briars and two Silver Brooms as lead for Don Duguid in 1970 and 71. Then he teamed up with Rod Hunter in 1975 for his third Purple Heart. A traveling man in 78, Wood would win another provincial title with Doug Harrison as skip and as he capped off the 70s in fine style, winning his fifth Manitoba title and third briar with Barry Fry. Champions is brought to you by Manitoba Public Insurance, proud to support the community, and by Pepsi, the joy of cola. We're back to Brandon's Keystone Center. You just saw the uh, end of the uh, rock delivered by Doug Armstrong, who is trying to become uh, the first ever to win three Manitoba Provincial Men's Curling Championships in a row. It's never been done in a row before. No, oh, that is remarkable. And he's trying to chase Brian Wood also, because if he could win this, that's three, and he's a pretty young guy. So, uh, and of course, if you're staying with a stout, that's not too bad either. Well, and, it, and it's a lot of it has to do with just Doug's ability. You know, he won that first one two years ago with Dale Dugan and then went to Jeff Stoutland's team. And, um, there's probably more victories in the cards for him because he is such a strong player. Bars Even if guys. he doesn't continue with Jeff at some point, I'm sure that he'll wind Bars up on guy. another really solid team. Okay. Okay. Enough. Yeah, a little too close to the house for Jeff to come in behind. I think if it had been another three or four feet up, uh, we would have seen Jeff probably come in behind that. Well, it's an interesting call by Murray's. He was actually calling it in the house, and we weren't surprised to see that in the yep. first end. But, you know, it, I think what they, they showed him, his team did, that they were ready to play, and yet he was still calling it in. So it'll be interesting to see at what point he decides he is ready to go. It's running pretty straight okay. on him. That's hey, two that uh, Doug is hit and roll out on. Just caught the comments there from uh, Jonathan Mead to Doug Armstrong. Yeah. No, it's got lots. Whatever you think. That's okay. Whatever you think. Talk to it. Oh boy. So he's comfortable with the guard, but he obviously wants it to be very, yeah, very, very close. Very close. Keep, and of yeah. course, for Jeff, that is way too close to just leave it. But he'd be pretty happy to stick around somewhere. Take a look at the uh, all 32 teams that qualified for this 2000 Safeway Select. You see Murray Warren's name, yep. Alan Lawn. Oh. Yep. Those last oh. three getting their spots in the birth bond spiel. And Randy Got Newfeld it. from the Pemda Curling Club, the last one in, and he was called the Marathon Men. Did he have to win something like seven games to qualify? Well, he had to win a whole ton because uh, on uh, the new system that is in place in Manitoba this year, uh, during the MCA, it used to be that you could only get a yep. spot into the select by yep. winning one of the major events yep. or being at least in the playoffs. A uh, new system has allowed for teams that have won minor events to go into a playoff. It does mean a ton of games, and for Randy okay. Newfeld, he played the last three games on the last day with only three players because of some injuries on his team. So it's uh, it's certainly a step forward in many ways for the MCA to consider the minor events, but it'll be interesting to get the feedback from the curlers, how they really feel about that whole system. And of course, the other change that was made this year is in recognition of the Manitoba Curling Tour, uh, they yep. have awarded a spot into the select and of course the Whoa. only team that knows that Whoa. they will Whoa. be in Selkirk next year for the 2001 Whoa. Whoa. select is the Allen Lyburn team from Brandon. 
Jeff selected to go in behind this corner guard, and the reason, even though it is a short guard out front, is hey, that hey, uh, it's off to the side and leaves the, the the whole middle of the house wide open for a draw if he gets into any sort of trouble. So uh, if it was in the center line, I doubt if he'd have come it's around it. Nice little biter at the back, even though it's not in behind the guard. It's it's forcing uh, Murray to go down to it. Well, he's obviously prepared to play because if he was going to be very conservative, it essentially is wide open. He could be banging well, am, away at I'm it. I'm a little surprised Lots he's going room. after it, to be honest with you. I thought he'd probably hit it. Just for away. Lots of room. Oh, oh. Yep, right yep. then. Yep. Yep. Hard. Right up. Okay. That's good. Well, it is a real good shot. By playing that, Marie Warren is saying to Jeff, I'm not letting you blank this. It's down to it. Line's good. Wait only. Line's good. Line's good. Wait only. Yep. Hard for line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeff looking for Jonathan's rock to be right on top of the one previously thrown by Lauren. Boy, that's slick down there. Oh, nice shots. Okay, Kerry. It still is a little dicey here because he's no, got. Had it. Lauren's got to make sure he's down to it. Yeah. How okay. much can you see? I can see it all. If you hit it on the nose, you'll get both of these. I wouldn't hurt. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't want to fool around with this because if he ever missed it, Jeff's got a, a you know, a sort of a raised tap back to get to lie too. Yep. 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 Whoa! 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 Shot. No problem. So for Jeff, he's uh, looking for Jonathan to hit, and, and there's no point trying to roll back behind that corner. He'll be really happy if he sticks right there or even rolls towards the open side. Now he's going back to his plan to whoa, blank whoa, the end. Hip! Hip! Shot. It'll be interesting oh, later if we can get some statistics, but certainly we saw, um, we have the benefit of during the commercial breaks listening in on the skips, and one of the things that Jeff pointed out is that uh, Murray Warren chose to throw all out turns. Uh, even though the house was wide open in the first, and you'll see that that seems to be a preferred turn. Uh, this shot, again, giving him an opportunity to throw either, and uh, we've asked our statistician to keep an eye on that, and we'll let you know. First rock of the second end for Murray Warren. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And he lies one. Nice little hit and roll. Almost rolls in behind the guard, but uh, solid bump there. Jeff's just again Actually, this his line is, is to blank. Less. Well, ideally for Jeff, what he wants to do is hit and roll back towards the open side, so that he's thinking ahead to a second shot, wanting it to be as simple as possible. No thought to getting a little bit of a. a a roll behind the guard? Maybe well, the, picking up two? Well, the problem is is that that rock nice. is so deep in the house and that if he makes it absolutely perfect, he knows that there's an awful lot of opportunity for Murray Warren to come down to it, which is not exactly what he wants this early in the game. Well, yeah, exactly. If he comes down to it, then Jeff's forced to uh, to take one. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to pull back for his chance for a deuce or even a three. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
No. Nice controlled weight. Never really overthrows rock. So now at this point, certainly for Murray Warren, he really will be calling this hard for the role. Okay, okay. Doesn't get the role he wants. But still a good uh, end, yeah. an opportunity for the Warren team to really settle into the game, really, if they've got any nervousness, any butterflies about it, they certainly don't show it. They're having a great time here talking to them prior to the game. They're very relaxed. And yeah, I think so. It's almost like they've been in this position uh, for years, you know, they're, they're just not, uh, not uptight at at all about it. Not at all. They were joking around before the game, so they're they're quite comfortable. No, they were laughing when you suggested you would be fifth. <laughs> that no, was actually, I don't know where that rumor came from because I, I never I even started suggested it. it. But look at the road trips I'd have to take. I could, could, could grief. I'm a hockey coach. So the final rock of the second end for Jeff Stoughton, and uh, as he did in the first, he's looking to blank this one. And he's done it. So still nothing up on the scoreboards here in this B-side final of the 2000 Safeway Select. Get your tickets for the world's hottest event on ice. The Labatt Briar 2000. The Big Freeze is coming. Call Select a Seat at 1 888 9687 The Safeway Select is brought to you in part by Labatt Light, right out of the ice. And by the Manitoba Pork Council, producing quality pork for Manitobans and consumers around the world. Did you know? When cooked to perfection, pork will show just a hint of pink. The result? Pork that is not only nourishing and delicious, but tender and juicy. Pork with a hint of pink. It's okay today. Did you know? Trimmed to visible fat, today's pork is lean. So make pork a part of a well-balanced diet. For recipes, call our toll-free line today. And pick pork. Jerry Little of Midtown Ford has always been a proud supporter of curling in Manitoba. He loves the teamwork, the same teamwork he brings to his dealership. Working late tonight, Dennis? Oh, just checking out some new angles, Jer. That's the old team spirit. Everyone working like a well-oiled machine to help the customer, Jerry thought. Midtown Ford, 750 Pemina Highway. Customers for life. On the button. Well, the Brandon Committee has done an outstanding job of this 2000 Safeway Select, and uh, they'd like to thank their local sponsors who have helped make their job a little easier and have made this, as I said, a tremendous select. 
Well, they have, and the principal sponsor, of course, is Canada Safeway, and if you have an opportunity uh, to support them, they have really done a tremendous job of supporting curling. They've allowed uh, and encouraged the sponsors uh, of the teams at, by letting the teams wear sponsorship on their outerwear, and what they present to each curler when they arrive uh, is a matching set of shirts, and when they make the final eight, they present another set of colored shirts, all in an effort to continue to enhance and improve the quality of this premier event for Manitoba. Don, the game is yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking that. See, that, that guard is a little further out and just prepared to go in behind it now. And now we'll see uh, Murray's the same thing. Jeff missed the chance with uh, Dougie Armstrong. He had to get that in behind. And that's where Armstrong has been so strong, but in this one, a little light. And now the advantage swings back a little bit for the, the Warren uh, foursome. Well, in fairness to Doug, that was his first draw. Because of the game that has been on, he's just been hitting things. So a chance for Doug to to get a little bit of draw weight. Yeah, for line. Oh, I caught something. Hard. I think it did. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, he's got the raise. Hard. Well, we Hard. saw what it did for Vic Peters the other night. Yes, it's yes, very fry. Oh, look at this. I think it caught something. And no, he's got a precious know. biter from the overhead angle. Well, and certainly they called that right out of his hand, that there was something underneath it. He had the, had the good weight for it. So the second shot of this third end for Ball. Doug Armstrong. Looking to drive the one that he's just thrown on an angle yeah. back to remove Ball. that one Ball. Ball. at the top of the house. No roll there. Very nice. Jeff really happy with that because it does still leave that stone there to raise later if he'd like to. Terry Warren now in the hack. And he will try to get to the safe way S. Line's good. Let's go away. Yep, yep, yep. Whatever you think. Good. Wait's good. Mine's good. Yep, yep. yep. Watch that break we talked about earlier in the program right about now. This is a nice whoa, shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. It starts to die. It finishes. Yeah, an interesting very release high. by Terry. Sort of maybe uh, just sort of forces the turn on a bit. We'll have to watch it on the next shot. We'll see it again here. As he comes watch, back here. Watch when he lets go. Well, actually, it's almost a bit of a lazy turn, so it will uh, get more swoopage. <laughs> well, what he does is he, he the grabs end. the rock at the start and then and sort of lightens up the grip as he's coming out and then just puts the turn on. So but he, he still throws very well. He does, but what that would suggest by that release is that his rocks on a draw will curl more than someone with a real positive rotation to the release. Got to hit something, guys. Jeff's got to have a split here, and he's not okay. going to touch it. There's a bad miss throw, Gary. for Gary. That rock, if he gets a split, he's okay because it just sort of maybe opens up the back a little bit. And the basic rule of thumb is that when you're playing shots like that, you never want to have enough weight that if you do miss, you go through. Um, had he been a little bit lighter, A, he makes the shot, and even if the line's off, it's still in the house and something that Murray Warren would have to worry about. Lots of room. No, not lots. Yeah, a little more room on this one. No, the weight's all right. Weight's good. No, 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 it's not going. No. Some initial concern no. that perhaps Terry had a little bit more weight, yep. but it's coming now. Hard! Hard! Okay, enough. Not exactly what he wanted. It's a good shot, but he wanted to get it a little, tuck it in a little more because Jeff's got a chance to maybe to double it off and roll. See Gary's broom. He uh, is the designer whoa, of those whoa, and whoa. Maybe a little down. promises years ago everyone would take them up. I see he's convinced Doug Armstrong to throw <laughs> with one as well. They call it the crutch. Get it the back way. Good shot. Well, Good shot, Gary. Just about. Well, he doesn't Good make shot. the double, but he Good does shot. move it off yeah, the forefoot and into the open. Actually, we're seeing Armstrong and Vandenberg with a few half shots here uh, in the start of the game. Not exactly uh, well, on top of the game just yet for them. And this is how Murray Warren's been doing it 
all week. Well, all of a sudden, he's just getting lots of his own rocks into the rings first. And it's been a combination Ball of things. Down. It is true that Doug Ball Armstrong and Gary Vandenberg have made half shots, Ball but the other in. reality is that Murray Warren's team has been putting them in the right spots and forcing yep, teams to good. make good shots. Yep. Here's where it hooks. Oh, he's oh, got a real nice yeah, shot. Yeah, they've got this down to a fine art. Nice Go. shot. Well, tragedy strikes close to home when a member of the Springfield community dies in a shocking accident. Find out who it is on The Simpsons. Tonight at 7, Global's got it. So, the game is on, and Jeff Stoughton, like Harry Burtnick, Vic Peters, and Barry Fry, finds himself in trouble against Murray Warren. Because of uh, the position of the rock, it's uh, that Lauren just threw, which is absolutely ideal. It's at the top of the four. For Jonathan, the best that he can do is just to tap it back a little bit. And that's what Jeff has asked him to do. Well, it's got a lot to come. He's just, he's just going to tap it a bit and then roll to the open. It's all right. Well, he's moved it enough that he might be able to get about, uh, get at it a little bit on the other side, but still not a little, heavy, eh? a little more weight than he wanted. Nice weight. Ah, that's a be too much. So Murray's checking to see whether he's second or we third might be shot. Second, but I think we got to have it. Okay. Well, I think he does too, because Jeff certainly potentially will have a double off the two yellow stones that we yeah. see on that side. And Both, yep. By hitting yep. to lie three, three. it really Hard. does put the pressure on the stone. Too. Hard. Hard. No, 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 no. This one's going to roll out. Okay. Yeah, no. he lost that one, which is uh, not, not any damage to him, but it, it gives Jeff a chance to just have only two counters against him, obviously, but it gives him a chance to look at this rock on the other side now. A little more than half? <clears throat> yeah, you gotta be more than half. Heel. More than half, meaning if he hits about three quarters, he makes the double. And he's gotta throw good weight on it. Which Jonathan certainly can. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Yes! Hooray! There's one great shot. Good. Still leaves it in the open, but it's still he 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 did what he had to do to get shot rock off. It. Good shot. Thanks. I think Murray can still do, get enough of it to hit and roll in behind those guards. Want to make sure we pumped it out, which he did. Hmm? Want to make sure we pumped it out. I think Jonathan's, you know, a little bit disappointed Sorry, that he didn't make the complete double. But as Jeff said, the more important thing for Jeff was to get the rock that was in the forefoot by Murray Warren's into the open. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Okay. So the shooter rolls out, Warren lying one, but it's open. Ah, they got wide. Huh? As he said, a little Slid outside wide. on that, okay. maybe a little too much weight. See, Jeff wants to hit and roll to the outside. He doesn't want to try. If he hits and rolls in behind the guard, Murray's going to come right in, in behind him because it's behind the T line. Don't do much there, though, no. even with that quieter weight. No. Good thing you didn't have any more weight, anyways. So Jeff's looking now at Blaine to blank this end. If he rolls just a biter on the on the outside 12, then it'll force Murray to to throw at it. Stick it there or a little your way down. No, 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 no. Clean it. No, no. Key on this shot is to stay in the rings. Yep, yep. Go, Doug. Go, Doug. Go. And they do really want to roll to the wings shot. a little bit. Fine and shot. And so a chance for Murray to hit and roll. Uh, shot, 
Thanks. This comes out pretty nice, though, eh? Yeah. Got two to roll behind. If he can get hit and roll in behind, he's going to force Jeff to take one for sure, even possibly for Warren to steal. Yep. Whoa! Yep! Hard! Whoa! Hurry! Hurry! Whoa, hard. Hurry. Well, he's got to roll. Not quite enough, though. No, it's a real good shot, no, it's though. still. I think he can, Jeff probably could only see a little portion of that. It moves in there, but this is a dead. Wow, that's actually a great shot. Oh, yeah. It will move in there. A little more. Probably about hack, eh? Hack's pretty tough to blank. I mean, if you're going to play hack, then just play for one. Yeah. What are you She'll doing? She'll still swoop. What are we doing? Bump. He'd still like to sure. blank. This is what happened to him against uh, Spriggs yesterday, too. I think Murray's pretty happy with that role. It certainly forced him in a difficult situation. You know, obviously they knew they were close at the end with the yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa. Uh, it is true if it was, if it rolls a little more, Jeff really only does have the draw. But it's really difficult on this ice because the house is really lively. Meaning that rolls go very far. So the decision is bumper. Jeff would like to blank. If but he through, does yeah. run the risk of if just running If he does bumper, uh, it's, he'll have enough to blank it if he gets by. Yep. Whoa, 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 yep. There it goes. Yep. Ah, he's got yep. it. He's got a beauty. That's a real nice tough shot. Blank. Boy. I was hoping I was right at the end. <laughs> so the pressure was on Jeff Stoughton in that third end, but he's still able to maintain control of the All hammer. Right, Nicole, how are you guys doing? I think they're doing well. You're doing well. And we'll be back to the Keystone Center after this. Driving is all about control. Not having maximum control depends on your tires. So how are your tires? Really? So when's the last time you checked? You can't remember. This does nothing for Reg the Rubberman's ego, but Rubber understands. In fact, it's because of your lack of thought about tires that Rubberman is in a constant state of readiness. When a call comes in and there's a tire down, no one reacts faster. Listed in the yellow pages under Beer Tire because there's no listing for super fast, super affordable tire specialist. It's a million dollars twice a week. It's a game we call our own. Play Western 649 at any Manitoba Lottery Ticket Center. Western 649, get a grin from me to eat. Okay, smile. And remember this, my friend, the buck stop here, buck stop here. The Safeway Select is brought to you in part by Granny's Poultry. Always quality and freshness. And by Western 649, our own 649 game. Granny's Manitoba Poultry hits the spot with every mouthful. Imagine the warm aroma of a Granny's turkey fresh out of the oven. As its sweet smell wafts through the house, it takes you back to family celebrations of days gone by. At Granny's, we're dedicated to making your family gatherings memorable year after year. Granny's Poultry, proudly Manitoba's only turkey processor. Farm fresh taste and country goodness, Granny's. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries presents one sweetheart of a sale just in time for Valentine's Day. Over 150 gorgeous Lazy Boy chairs on display and priced as low as $379. Come in today and find your true love. Now at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, you can save on more than a thousand custom order fabrics, which means our furniture can adapt to any surrounding, not to mention any budget. Mark Olson and his self-proclaimed blue-collar team had a great run at the 99 Select and Portage. Here he's down by one to Chad McMullen. Olsen lies one, and he has the hammer. McMullen has his rock biting the button just behind the Olsen stone. 
But Mark turns up the emotion to make a great shot and take a stranglehold on the match. Olsen just slips by the guard out front to make this delicate tap for three. He leaves McMullen in his wake before bowing out of the 99 select in the B-side semifinal. Under Pressure is brought to you by the Prairie Ford dealers. It's always been Ford. And by Robin's Donuts in Delhi. Day and night, the food's just right with 50 locations to serve you. And this season, or this select, neither Chad McMullen or Mark Olson were able to uh, earn their way back. And Don and Kathy, the game is on again here in the fourth end. Well, it sure is. And Mark is showing a lot of his intensity that we certainly do miss. And Chad's certainly a very vocal team as well. And uh, those are always exciting for the fans to watch. But it's a tough province to get even to the provincial playoffs. Yep. Yep. Like you got a little inside yep. in this rock here, Reg. Ah! They're keeping it that we have seen that side of the sheet Yard. stay a little bit straighter today. Hurry! Hurry! Whoa! Whoa! Good boy. Well swept. Boy, you can, with a, a long guard like that, everybody can, you can see how the ice moves nicely. You can make your hits, even with a, a rock buried in behind a guard like that. You will move enough. Yeah, the guard certainly is a lot higher than Murray Warren wants it. For Jeff, it's Capital. almost Lots as though the guard isn't Capital. there just because it is so high in the ice, does move so much. So staying out a little more, may hit and roll towards the side a little bit on this. Well, he doesn't mind going far. to the side. He definitely does want to stick around. The Doug's been struggling a little bit here in the first few ends. And that may have been a case of the his I think his second rock in the last end where he was trying to draw and it came up short. Yeah, he may, and, and in uh, uh, fairness to the curlers, they uh, do, in fact, have choice of, of stone selection um, in the building. Uh, it is up to the discretion of the head official, and there were some concerns about the rocks on sheet B, and so both teams had the chance to uh, select other rocks yesterday, and so that's been allowed today as well. So they should feel pretty comfortable with what it is that they're throwing. Let it curl. Oh, let it curl back. The shot from Terry Warren coming into the, the house, and where Boy, is they, it going to settle? They, uh, shot. Oh, what? Really nice weight. They've got this down to a fine art. Here are well, the percentages in the game, Kathy. This certainly magnifies the differences in the leads, and 79% and is very respectable for a lead, but certainly not what we're used to expecting from Doug Armstrong. I think he himself would admit it. And I, once again, you know, the Warrens on the front end are really, really doing their job. Um, at third, although we're not seeing a huge difference, certainly percentage-wise we are, and the skips have been just about impeccable. Jeff's sort of holding them in. You can see the... The Warren team is basically, from a stats point of view, a curling, uh, a curling the stout enforcement by a fair amount. Shot, Gary. Beauty. And a fine shot there, as you heard, by Gary Vandenberg. Stoughton lies one. Just do it or top it? Better top it, I guess. I think so. Just talk, wait. No more. No more. Yeah. Wanting to move it back a little bit. The other option is to just sit right on top of it and limit the opportunities for two. I think that uh, for Murray Warren, he feels it's yep. early enough yep. in the end that there's so many rocks yep. to come. He does want to bump yep. it so that he is shot. This one might be tight to the guard. In oh. fact, I think it's yep. on the guard. Hold off. Yeah, he didn't right. want to do that. Uh, he wanted to at least spill the guard out there. Now Jeff's got something to come in behind a corner guard on the right-hand side. Yeah. So for the first time in this game, Murray Warren is on the defensive. It's an ideal situation now for Jeff to take to. Perfectly set up for him. It's a matter of executing it now. Let's go deep. Yeah, let's go deep. Okay. Okay, he's good. That's good. Good, Gary. It's good, Gary. All right. Yeah, they good didn't throw. want it back there because now Murray can hit and roll over to the face of it or in front of it and behind that, that guard. Way. It might come back here. Maybe roll in front, maybe it's better. I think so. 
Okay. Yeah, if he hits the other one like he first tried, he rolls out of the house. It's wonderful to watch the difference between okay. the conversations at the third and skip level. I found the last couple ends. Murray will call a shot, and Lauren just sits there and he, and he looks at him until he calls the other one. Then he goes, yeah, I think so. So it's his way of, I guess, giving him the message that he'd prefer another yeah. option. Hard! Whoa! 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 Okay. And punches that Stoughton Rock through the rings, and Warren lies one. Well, not really uh, what Lauren was looking for. He was looking for either the hit and the roll or the double. The double, when they first look at it, he'd lose his shooter, so the hit and roll was good. Uh, but at least he, he didn't jam it back on his own. It's normal. Jeff wants to hit and stay nice. right here. Doesn't want to roll in behind the guard. If he rolls in behind the guard, he'd be behind the T-line. Yes. Hard. Hard. Right up. Go. Hurry. Go. Shot. Nose hit, and now Stoughton lies two. And Murray would like to hit and roll. The double is there, but if it if he does make the double, it sits in the back of the house, and Jeff can come down to it behind the guard, which doesn't do Warren any good. So this way, if he can hit and roll, yep. front, yep. still stay above the T line. Hard. Hard. No. no. Okay. No. So pretty wide Same. open. Jonathan looking to hit and stick right there. Keeping the house split and their stones sort of as far away from each other as possible. Starting to creep up the house there where the next couple of hits are gonna be in for third yep. shot yep. instead of second shot, which makes a difference too. Stoughton again, lies too. Murray definitely prefers the out turn. I was just going to yeah, say. He just, uh, like everybody's throwing the intern here, he does throw the out turn. <laughs> and uh, statistically, we've seen that when he has an opportunity to play either, that's what he will go to. Yeah, because everybody else has been throwing the intern in this situation. <laughs> Actually, the intern is the, is the better turn for the role in a situation like this. as far as they would have liked. Well, the trouble with that is if you don't get it well enough, now Jeff can hit and roll in behind that guard. He may hit and stick, but he's, he may look at it to hit and roll because it's perfectly, see, it's perfectly set up. So if he does get a roll, he's got to set up for three. He can roll right to there too. But yeah, not too far, no. Murray went for the roll. But the trouble is not quite far enough. Nose. I'm gonna stick it right there. Right. Well, actually, they are. They're looking at hitting on the hitting on the nose. But if he could, ideally, get a roll in behind there, he'd be uh, he'd be nicely set up for a three. But I guess he maybe talking to the team. He maybe doesn't want a chance to play. Well, I think his concern his is that if if he does roll behind the guard, but he rolls a little bit too far, the way the ice goes, it would force Murray Warren to play the freeze down to the back one. And by doing so, of course, he would be shot. And it's Jeff has a lot of respect for what Murray Warren has done all week. I think he's a thinking at this point, a wide open deuce puts him in really good shape. Hard! Hard, 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 hard. He doesn't want to jam on the back. Well, Step and lies okay. too. Sorry, Jeff, that really cut. Yeah. I didn't think it would go like that when you threw it. I thought you were right out there. Shit. Okay. 
see Lawrence, Lawrence oh, looking yeah, at the angle, looking at the angle to try and get a double. It's tougher to read when you're throwing the outturn, Kathy. Oh, it's so wow. hard to read for a double on this compared to if you threw an intern to read to try and get the double or the roll. Hard well, and it's a call. it's a function of waiting versus yeah. Yeah. calling it right into exactly. it. Exactly. Trying to rock at this fourth in for Murray Warren. Yep, yep. Wants the roll, wants the double. Beautiful He's got shot. it. Look at that. See, that's why Jeff was a little annoyed at where his rock went because by rolling over there gave gave Murray that chance. And now what it's done is it's forced Jeff to take one. Great shot. Well, and so for Jeff, talk about a, a complete flip around instead of having a chance. He's got to, you'll see this rock come across. He hits it absolutely perfect because not only does he make the double, but he sticks the shooter there in a position where there's no chance for a double. So instead of having the open two that they were pretty much thinking that they were going to have an opportunity for, Jeff's in a situation where he needs to draw for his point. Great shot by Murray Warren. So for most of this end, Jeff Stoughton was on the offensive, and now with his last rock of this fourth end, he's really on the defensive. This is also his first draw. Mine's good. You're on this one, yep. Only if you have yep. to. Okay. Try, Jeff. Nice rock. Makes no mistakes. And so, we finally have a score in this B-side final. It came in the fourth end. Jeff Stoughton forced to take one.